Okay, hello guys, this is basic keyframing in Sony Vegas Pro 9 by Techie Tutorials. I'm trying to be basic as possible as I was with my masking tutorial which ends up being about 9 or 10 minutes. Trying to be basic, I know. Guys, really, I'm just... <sighs> anyway, so I'm, that might be cut down when it's posted, but anyway, I'm going to try and get this, you know, pretty basic as I can. So keyframing, what, what is it? So first we have to get a clip to show you guys what it is. So we're going to open up my seal clip. I like this scene, seriously, he's, he's a nice guy. I'll zoom that up by pressing the up key, or you can use this button down here. Now what is keyframing? Uh, okay, so here we go. I'll first start off by, say I want to zoom that out of it, okay. So, in my video, I want this to start off small, that's what she said, uh, no, that's not what she said, what am I, oh, what am I saying, anyway, I want this to start off small, and up here, gradually get bigger, now that, that's maybe what she said, I know, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to the end, okay, I'll use this zoom out tool, and basically what I'm going to do is zoom in onto the video, to make zooming in and out, easier and faster by the way you can use the aspect ratio and size about center size about center will make it easier aspect ratio will keep the aspect ratio so anyway after that you can see that it's gradually zooming in on me and boom okay um so that's basically you know i'll show you with colors as well which is probably the way to go the easiest way to explain it so we have this big long we have this big solid color here we're going to go to 2 seconds, and now this is a create keyframe button, and this is a delete keyframe button. These we won't worry about for a minute. I can see a create keyframe if I want, but basically if I change the color, or if I change anything about it, it will create a new keyframe, because in between here it's changing. And if I'll come up here to 4, I'll say I want it to be blue, 6, yellow, oh. I know that's some screwed up yellow in there. 8, I'll go back to black. Back to black. Isn't that Amy Winehouse CD? I'm not sure. And if you didn't like one of the colors, you can change it. Or if you wanted to delete it, you basically click on the keyframe. So I don't like this one. I can change it. Or click and hit this delete keyframe button. If I decide to put another one in, I can say create keyframe. Change the color, I can just change the color. Okay, I hope you guys are getting this. If you're not, you know, comments below mail, whatever, I'm glad to help anybody. I'm just doing this, see where everyone's at. If you have questions about it, if you want to know something, you know, just give a shout. I really don't mind helping people. Okay, the third thing I'm going to do is key, you know, keyframe again, obviously. And it's basically keyframe moving a video. You may say move, see moving videos or moving pictures or such as that, and you don't know how to do it. So basically what you can do is up here. I want it to zoom out and I want it to move over here. Then by here, up by two, sorry. <laughs> by two. Oh, by two, I want this to move over this way. And by three, I want it to mm, go to this odd shape. I know. So we're going to play that back. You can see it moving around everywhere, zooming in, zooming out. And that's all because of keyframes. Keyframes are very important. You can't make a video without keyframes, basically. You need keyframes to make a good video, at least. I'm sorry if you don't use keyframes, but you, you do. You need a good video. Good, you need keyframes to make a good video. Jeez. I know. Okay, so... There, this is one common problem I actually encountered when I started. Anybody can encounter this. It's probably pretty, 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 pretty popular problem. So I'm just going to open up a capture here. I took this from my Techie News channel. Don't know what that is? No, probably not. Okay. Anyway, I'll put a link to that if you're interested in the sidebar. So let's say I have my capture here. And, you know, I'm browsing through. And here. Well, here. I want to zoom in, you know, I want to zoom in there. So I'm going to go, my vent pan crop, 
I'm gonna go, I'm gonna find there. Okay, I want to zoom in in this place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in, you know, it'll create a keyframe automatically. And you know, that's all good. I'm gonna X out. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna play it and this is what you may want it, but if you don't, it can be annoying. My video is zooming in already. Even though my keyframe doesn't come until here or down below. Wait, I'll tell you now. See, this is where I wanted it to zoom in, and it's been zooming in the whole video, which may be annoying if, you know, text or something gets blocked out. So, that's kind of common. And basically, what you're going to have to do is first of all, we'll delete this keyframe. We're going to go back and we're going to say. Okay, so we want to zoom in here. I'm going to split that. We're going to open the. Sorry, we're going to open. See, there's two tracks here now, they've been split. We're going to open this one's a pen pan crop. Anyway, I'm going to delete that. Yeah, okay. No. And. Okay, so. You can see it plays on as normal, even though it's split because they've been put together. And it is all one capture. They've just been split. If you don't know how to split and delete and cut, I'll put a link in the sidebar, but you probably know how to do that. Anyway, I'm rambling, I'm rambling, I'm rambling. So now that it's split, we can go to the start and just zoom in here. Because this is where we split it. And then when we're playing it back. It's going to look like we stopped recording and started again with zooming in. So what we can do is we can put a fade or an overlap in, so it fades in and out. You probably didn't see that on my render box because of the lag. But basically, we can do that for a transition or put in a transition. But if you want that zoom effect, so basically, I deleted that right. So from the split of these two, we have a smooth transition. So what I do is, instead of putting it up here at the top keyframe, I'll bring it up to about here, and then zoom in. So I still get that zoom effect, but it doesn't look like an abrupt change. So it changes, and then it zooms in. So that's a common problem. Probably. I don't know, I thought it was pretty common. Maybe it's not, I'm just crazy. Anyway, that was basic keyframing. I might make one very shortly again. If people are having trouble, need more advice, want more advanced, you know. So keyframing tutorial and masking tutorial up. Also new videos on Techie News if you want to go check them out. And that's about it. Thanks very much for watching. If you'd like to see the new YouTube layout, click up here. The video about it. And that's about it. Please subscribe. Thumbs up rate, whatever it is these days, I don't even know, and comment, I'll be glad to help anyone, alright, thanks guys.